We are excited to sit down with Rashef Tenney, this year's winner of the Von Hippel Award. Thank you so much, sir, for taking the time. Thank you very, very much. And congratulations. Thank you very, very much. So your discoveries in nanoparticles in the early 90s were hugely influential. What initially drew you to this area of research and what's kept you there? Well, I was looking for uh, interesting uh, solar cells in the beginning and I knew I worked on solar cells at that time and I decided that I will try to go and grow thin films of these materials, tungsten disulfide and molybdenum disulfide, which were not that popular at the time. There were only a handful of groups, scientific groups that worked or researched on this area. And I, then I came across the work of uh, Sumio Ijima and Kroto on C60 and on carbon nanotubes. And I said to myself, hey, if they can make it on carbon, I can do that for any layered compound. And all these materials are layered compounds, compounds with layered structure like deck of cards. And if they can do that, if they could do that from uh, carbon, from graphite basically, I can do that from molybdenum disulfide and from tungsten disulfide. So your le award lecture was about misfit layered compounds. So what does misfit mean in that particular context? Among them, uh, we, we, we synthesize so many nanotubes from so many compounds, layered compounds. Uh, and in the last 10 or 12 years, we co focused on misfit compounds. Misfit compounds are compound, basically intercalation compounds. You take a layered compound like tantalum disulfide and you uh, intercalate or you in insert a layer of lead sulfide or tin, tin sulfide uh, or, or lanthanum sulfide and the stability of this misfit compound is gained by the charge transfer from the lanthanum sulfide to the tantalum disulfide, layered tantalum disulfide. So it's basically an intercalation compound which has a uh, misfit in the structure, the, the notion of misfit means that they are non-stoichiometric. They are not, the, the lanthanum sulfide and the tantalum disulfide have no common unit cell. And so they are misfit, and this is the source of the name misfit compounds. So what possible medical applications are coming out of this work? First, for lubrication. Lubrication is very, very important in several treatment. For example, if you want to insert an, a catheter or any endoscope into any constriction of the body from the top or from the bottom, you need to overcome very strong interaction between the insert and, and, and the, 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 the body. And there are many other examples. For example, we, last week we published a paper with a group in the UK where we use ketosan. Ketosan is, we reinforce ketosan. Ketosan is used for packaging, food packaging, for, for variety of uh, medical application, uh, packaging of medical products. And, and uh, if we can uh, use these nanoparticles first to reinforce the polymer to be more durable, and secondly, uh, to have less, lower permeability of oxygen and, and CO2, it will enhance dramatically the packaging industry uh, of medical products, for example. All right, fascinating. Thank you so yeah. much for taking the time. We appreciate it. Yeah.